Battlefield of Time just ended, so how do you want to strategically spend your seasonal currency? Let's talk about it. Let's go YouTube, no getting me here. Come with you today with the Battlefield of Time exchange shop guide. So guys, after each Battlefield of Time ends, they have the calculation period and then after a certain amount of time we get distributed our group ranking rewards our overall ranking rewards and the season currency and this is basically called the medal of time and with this when you guys end up finishing at a certain achievement tier one is given per season point and 50 is given per achievement tier so as we can see here i got 970 here also got the overall rank when it comes to these season points the runes the traces of shadows whatever the case may be Let's go ahead and claim this reward though. Looks lovely, lovely, lovely. Gotta take a screenshot there. That's just beautiful right there. But guys, obviously those are all important things, but how do you guys wanna spend this? So let's head on over to our exchange shop and let's talk about the best things that you actually wanna spend it on because there's some good things, there's some bad things. I guess we could talk about these one at a time in a row. I think the rate up ticket is a good thing to spend it on. It would just cost five. And I only got number two in the battle for the time when it comes to Car Galgan. So you might even have less. So if you want to go ahead and spend 350 on a rate up draw ticket, feel free. Next up, custom draw ticket. Not at all. You don't want to spend this here. There are so many ways to get it, whether we're talking about challenges. Netmarble is giving us hell of custom draw tickets right now, guys. So make sure to utilize that. We don't need to purchase them here. Going forward, Traces of Shadows. Now, this one can vary because in the early access, I was spending my medal of time on Traces of Shadow. Let's say you're literally 10 traces away you feel like it's hard to get. But even though if you're 10 traces away, that's a few gates. That's a few reverse modes. Honestly, with them coming out with reverse mode, there's a lot of more ways, a lot of more ways you guys can get traces of shadow. So this might be not viable anymore. Now let's talk abysmal fragments. Same thing. And that, I think the same could be said for the next four things when it comes to abysmal energy, uh, essence, shadow energy. Guys, these are all attainable through story mode, through reverse mode, doing gates. And there's only three more things to talk about here. So we have the Hunter exclusive weapon design, guys. This is probably the first or second most important thing that you actually want to spend this on because we could get two here. That'd be lovely, lovely, lovely. On the free to play side, you definitely want to aim as high as possible in each battle for the time. And with that, you'll be able to get, you know, Hunter exclusive weapon designs, craft more Hunter weapons, craft when Elysia's comes out. Now let's talk amount of power selection chest when it comes to the crystals. This could be viable guys i'm not gonna lie you can get 10 for only 300 and that'll that'll aid you when it comes to crafting it i know you can get it in the weapons material exchange but let's say you don't have a lot of what are these the traces of dimensions let's say you're not salvaging any r's whatever the case may be maybe you're not drawing a lot that could be viable guys honestly i don't see a problem with this i did do this in the early access when i was a little low on a power crystal selection chest but the last thing here is gold i don't think this is too too viable we can get about nine or about 20 here which would amount to 400,000 gold it isn't terrible but again there's so many places you guys can get gold we have a lot of gold guides on the channel and things like that reviewing it like i said guys the most important things here is probably the hunter exclusive weapon design the rate of draw ticket and maybe 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 the mod power crystal selection chest and if you're you know needing it if you really really need it your traces of shadow everything else is definitely farmable one way or another or you don't have to worry about it too too much so now we have a new event started it's the giant arachnid he's weak to light so for this team at least for my initial start i'm gonna kind of do a dry run live but we have emma mean and cha so emma for the crowd control moves mean for the buffs and then cha to finish it up let's go ahead and get into this and then for shadows i'm rocking egress tank and iron so we're gonna go in and two dashes, summon the shadows, do our move, get whatever done we can. There's a lot, there's a lot going on here though, chat. We'll have QT to men. And here's the arachnid.
Oh, what That's 42 seconds. That's honestly... Uh, that's not a bad dry run, but definitely we got to get faster eventually going down the line. But let me know your thoughts below. And while you're at it, leave a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can know each and every time we go live. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.